Manga can be a very exciting hobby for manga collectors, but it's not a cheap hobby, so it's easy to spend too much on manga. For me, after I read any series and I find that I don't absolutely love it, I will sell it to another manga fan, and the primary way I do this is through reddit.com r slash manga swap. This is a great manga community posting board that has lots of new posts every day of people selling their manga. I can't speak on everyone else's experience, but I found that buying and selling manga in r slash manga swap has been a fairly easy experience, and the members I've messaged here are all very nice. For this video, I'll be selling my single volume of I had that same dream again and show you the exact steps on how I do it. First, I take pictures of the manga before I post it. I want to show the buyer the condition of the manga so they feel happy with their purchase. So I take a picture from the front, back, sides, and pages to help show the condition. I then upload all my pictures onto an album on imager.com, making it easy for me to copy and paste the picture link for the buyer to see. After the pictures, I can now begin creating my selling post. The title starts with the country I'm in, which is the US, then I'm writing that I'm selling the manga, followed by the title of the manga I'm selling. My description will just say that I'm selling the manga and then my listed price and for me I always try to sell below right stuff's pricing which I find to be the cheapest. This manga I'm selling is basically new because I've only read it once and then shelved it so I'm listing it at $15 and charging $3 for shipping which is the price for USPS media mail. Lastly I paste my picture link and I'm finished making my post. What happens next is that interested buyers will comment on your post saying that they're interested. In my case I had three interested buyers and I like to give the first person who comments the first opportunity to buy. They wanted to drop the price a little bit and normally if no one else was interested, I would be fine lowering the price, but since other people were interested, I stood firm with the price since other people wanted it for my listed price. They agreed with my price and then the conversation went to personal messaging where I double checked that they were interested and then I asked for their PayPal email address to send the invoice to pay. In PayPal, I create a request for payment and then select the create an invoice option for the transaction. From here, I simply type the buyer's email address, making sure that the option to add an address is checked so I know where to ship the manga. Then I will put what I'm selling at the price we agreed on and then send the invoice over for them to pay. Once I receive confirmation in my email that they've paid, I head over to PayPal to see my money waiting for me. You can see that I charge $18, but I only received $17.18, and that is because PayPal charged a selling fee of 2.9% of the sale plus 30 cents. So keep that in mind when determining your price on reddit i've had a few sellers charge me for the fee and some sellers don't so make sure you communicate this clearly with your buyer now that i have paid i can start creating a shipping label and paypal makes this process extremely easy i simply just go to my paid invoice and press print label here i will use usps media mail shipping which is the cheapest and most common option available for shipping manga media mail allows you to ship books and manga at their lowest rate which typically is around three dollars a box depending on the weight and shipping will take less than two weeks i also make sure to check the box for usps tracking so the buyer knows where their package is and then I confirm, pay, and print the label. I take the tracking number and make sure to give it to the buyer by messaging them on Reddit. When it comes to packaging, I like to keep all my old manga boxes so I can use them to sell bigger sets of manga and I even keep the paper stuffing inside so I can use that as well. Since I'm only selling one volume this time, I have two options. I can either use the padded envelopes which hold about one to two volumes or I can use these nine by six by four boxes which should hold about four to five manga volumes. I prefer using the boxes rather than the envelope because I think the boxes will have more protection protection versus the envelope. First, I'll line the box with paper stuffings and then wrap the manga with a styrofoam like sheet that I bought and make sure the manga isn't moving at all in the box and is well protected. I tape it all up, place my pack and slip right on top of the box and now I'm ready to take it to the postal office. Since I've already paid for packaging, all I have to do is drop the manga off in a USPS drop box so I can skip all the lines and there's no need for me to speak to an employee so the drop off is extremely fast. In all, I posted this manga to sell in the afternoon and then the next morning I dropped it off at the postal office which shows how fast it could be to sell manga. I hope this guide helps. I personally have a lot of manga and as much as I like buying them, I try to sell as much as possible and use that money to find more manga. If you're selling manga using this guide and need any help at all in the process, please comment below or message me on Instagram or something. I will definitely try my best to help you out. It's a pretty simple process, but I know when I was first doing this, I was scared that I would mess up and ship it to the wrong house or I just wouldn't get my money. So I hope this video helped as much as possible. That's all for this video. Bye bye.